hi you are welcome to bono and boma and this is your married twin sister here bono i'm just coming to share with you seven things i no longer buy as a married woman okay so getting into marriage you get matured and you outgrow certain things you used to do when you were a single sister okay so the number one thing i no longer buy as a married woman is high heels oh <sighs> anything that will not make me feel so comfortable anything that will not make me stand upright and have a good posture i mean that is just it i remember when i was single i could wear three inches four inches of you know five inches even heels you know but uh you know after i got married i realized that all those things aren't necessary anymore you need a good posture okay you need to walk straight you need to walk upright and once you're also married you need to wear heels that are good for you or very comfortable for you it is um, not alleged but it's a fact that high heels has um, an effect to our backbone and also to that of our reproductive organs yeah so it is not good if you're pregnant and like one week two or even a month and you are on heels you are likely to miscarry so as a married woman i i just didn't find it necessary to be buying heels i buy shoes all right but the latest heel i buy is an inch or one and a half inch all my shoes are now like that i really don't want to go for high heels kind of high high heel shoes because they make me so uncomfortable the second things i no longer buy as a married woman is designer bags designer shoes designer clothing designer this is everything is always in vogue everything is always trending from this to that from you know and all those kinds of things I mean you have to be very careful if you want to save money and you want to really be a good house or home manager you really need to know that mm -mm, this thing you are running after you know it's not the right thing so I have advised myself that I'm not going to run after any designer shoes Chanel Gucci this that and all those kinds of tacked names kind of dresses or items but I think even with a normal you know bag and what's the point i work and i use a backpack because of certain things i i do i use a backpack and then the only time i use a real handbag is when i'm going to church so i mean what's what, what the heck i mean buy all kinds of bags 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 i wouldn't even be able to use them okay and once you even give birth <laughs> your handbag will change to baby back so you can imagine buying all those kinds of bags is not necessary so the bags you would have when you're single or you're buying to get into marriage those bags will even be enough i remember i bought a lot of bags when i was getting into marriage they are still up there i cannot even I, I can't even use all of them so i no longer buy bags anymore i just pack them up up somewhere the third thing i no longer buy is trying new things trying new pomade new creams no uh, this is not the time for me to be doing all those kinds of things so if i have a skin breakout right now i'll run into trouble because I, i'm a busy woman right now once you are single you are a you know you are alone you you can do everything with yourself you can try this try that to get a pomade that will suit your skin to, to get this to get that you know but once you Mary, you cannot be risking every time you know buying this buying that you are you are just trying everything a skin care stuff no you should be able to get a skin product that matches well for you okay i don't have a problem if you try one or two things during your marriage yes but every month you're buying new thing every month you're buying new every time you're buying something new something new something new that is something i no longer do i used to do it when i was single when anybody talks about this cream ah i'm running to get it sorry <coughs> if anybody talks about this cream i'm running for it all oh, this all oh, this hair pomade is good ah this this is that this body cream is good this perfume this i'll be running like this get that i'm going for it but ever since i got married certain things have stopped i no longer look for them i no longer use my money for that i use it for something else and then the next thing i want to talk about is buying something to match something when i was single i could buy when i was single i could buy a dress put it down for the next three months for the next four months to match with a shoe be i had that's how i got married all those things stop i no longer buy something impulse buying i'm buying this to keep you're lying because you're lying you buy impulse when we go to the supermarket babe can i take this babe can i take this it's true babe. But continue with your video babe 
Continue. Have I ever bought a, 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 a dress that I'm keeping it for? A oh, shoot? no, it's not a dress. Uh -huh. It is usually a oil and spaghetti and spices. Spoil my video. Spices, you know the spices I cook in this house. <laughs> okay, let's go over again. So, things I no longer buy as a married. <laughs> you are going to church. <coughs> I know. Let me just finish with this. I'll spoil it. What are you? Okay. I love you too. I don't love you. I love you. <laughs> oh! Let me know you will finish. Things I no longer buy as a married woman is buying something to match something in the next 10 years. I don't do it anymore. Oh, wow, look at this dress. It will match with this, my shoe. Okay, then you will now buy the dress and get to the house and realize that the shoe is not in good shape. So you now have to buy shoe and complement with the dress. Ah, I used to do it when I was single a lot. So I was always buying dresses, always buying shoes, always buying bag. Ah, this will match with this, with that, my belt. So you get to the house, you realize that the belt is not good. So you now have to buy another belt. So it's just something that I no longer do now in my marriage as a married woman. What I have, I make good use of it. What I don't have I, it, it it should go it should be there i don't I, I i don't mind you know i wear what i have and then that is it latest things things that are invoke things that are trending things that are latest latest this is the latest this so this is the latest this so i remember when i wasn't married something that was latest I, I had always wanted to have it because it was nice but my people now anything latest i don't even do i even hear that there's a latest something like i have just closed my ears about those things because i don't want to be somebody who will be running after material things buying this buying that that is not the most important thing okay so i no longer buy latest stuff anymore never latest with a high 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 prices no i no longer buy them i no longer buy uh, my church as a deeper life we had that kind of olden scarf there was that scarf you would tie around and all those kind of things i no longer buy those scarves i buy um already made scarves scarves that have been sewn very nicely with flowers and all those things once you're going somewhere you just wear it and then you are off okay this is not the time to wrap around your hair or whatever thing that is what i no longer buy so these are the things i no longer buy as a married woman if you are married and you are here kindly let us know the things you do you don't you don't longer buy so that the single sisters watching and the sisters who are growing up will know that some of these things when you, once once you are single you need them all right but once you get married i mean they are not something that you will actually um, be needing all right so thank you so much for watching and have a good evening bye